guys you are welcome back to another tutorial i hope you're doing well in today's video i'm going to be showing us how to make this dress it's an off shoulder dress with a ruffle by the side so the sleeve is a puffy flesh sleeve i'm going to be making use of three yards of crepe fabric so let's get started we'll be cutting out the half length first before cutting out the lower part my fabric is a stretchy fabric, like I said earlier, it's a crepe fabric. The stretch is more on this side, it's not too much on this side. So I have my fabric folded into two. This is the back side and the, this is the front side. I have 1.5 inches for zipper allowance here. And the upper part is uh, 17 and a half inches plus sewing allowance. Because it's a stretchy fabric, I will not be adding much sewing allowance to it. I might be adding maybe half or one inch sewing allowance. I use the bust measurement to fold the fabric and add one inch for sewing allowance. If you are making use of non-stretchy fabric, you can add about 1.5 inches sewing allowance to it. The dress is an off-shoulder dress. I will place my tape like so, a minus 4.5 inches for the off-shoulder. You can go down by 5 or 6 inches, totally depends on you. So this is 4.5 inches. I will take the chest line. So right from this place, I will mark the chest line. I'm marking 8.5 inches for the chest line. The post measurement is 10 and a half inches. Then from shoulder to waist is 17.5 inches. I will place the shoulder measurement. The shoulder measurement is 16 inches divided by 2 is 8 inches. I will mark 8 inches right from here. So I will be placing the neckline. So what I normally do is either I measure from here to here, divided by 2, place it here, or you minus 2 inches from the shoulder and place the neckline. For me from here to here is 12 inches. So I will divide the 12 inches by 2, is 6 inches. I'll place 6 inches here. I don't think I'll be adding sewing allowance to it because the fabric is very stretchy. So this is 6 inches. That's the neckline. If I do it the other way around, it's still the same thing. I have 8 inches here. That's the shoulder measurement. When you go inside by 2 inches, you'll be left with 6 inches. So that's the 6 inches I place here. You can do it the other way. If I mark the neckline to the chest side, I will place the bust measurement right on the chest line here. The bust measurement is 40 inches divided by 4 is 10 inches. I will add just 1 inch for sewing allowance. That is 11 inches. So I will connect this 11 inches to this 6 inches, the neckline. So this is the armhole measurement. I will make a little curve here. I will go ahead and place the waist measurement. The waist measurement is 34 inches divided by 4 is 8.5. Right on the waistline here, I will mark 8.5 plus 1 inch sewing allowance. That is 9.5 inches. I'm not adding that to it. I will connect it right from the chest line to the waistline. So this is the back side. I will go inside by half inch, right on the waistline here, and connect it like so. I will go inside 1.5 inches for the neck depth. I'll mark it like so. I'll just make it like a V neckline or sweetheart neckline. For the back, the neckline has to be round. I will cut this out and put it on the side. So I will cut out the neckline, the front neckline. For the back one, I will be cutting out round neckline for the back. ahead and cut out the facing for the front and the back because I'm not adding lining to the dress. I 
This is the back facing. Now we'll do the same thing for the front side. So we're done with the upper part. We'll go ahead and cut out the damp part. So this is the lower part. I folded it into two. I used the heat measurement to cut out the lower part. This is the back and this is the front. I added 1.5 inches for zipper allowance. The length of the full dress is 16 inches. I'll be adding one inch for hemming allowance. So that's 61 inches. The upper part is 17 and a half inches. So I'll minus 17 and a half from 61 inches. 61 minus 17 and a half inches is 43 and a half inches. So the lower part here is 43 and a half inches plus sewing allowance. So I have 43 and a half inches here. I will place a quarter of the waist measurement right on the waistline here. So a quarter of the waist measurement is 8.5 inches plus one is sewing allowance that is 9.5. So from waist to hip is 8.5 inches. And from this is the hip line. I will place the quarter of the hip measurement here. The hip measurement is 45 inches divided by 4 is 11 and a quarter. I will place 11 and a quarter here and still mark 1 inch for sewing allowance. You can mark the knee length if you like, the knee measurement is 22 inches. This is the knee line. You minus one inch from what you have right on the hip line here and place it on the knee line. You see, do the same thing for the, the length. So I have a 12 and a quarter here. I will place 11 and a quarter right on the knee line here. I will still place 11 and a quarter here. On the bottom here. So I'll go ahead and connect the lines together. And connect it right from the waist to the hip. From the hip, I will connect it to the knee. From the knee, I will bring it down to the, the length. So I'll go ahead and cut it out. So we are done with the cutting. We'll be cutting out the sleeves as we move on. So we'll go ahead and put the fabric together. Now we take the front and the back. First I will use the facing to turn the neckline. So I will use the facing to turn the neckline. Right side of the facing is facing the right side of the, the top. I will use half inch or a quarter of an inch to stitch it here. After I've done that, I will join the upper part and the down part together. So this is the lower part. I will join them together. Right side facing right side. I will use half inch to stitch them together. I will repeat the same thing for the back side. So guys, I finished using the facing to turn the neckline. I've also joined the upper part to the down part. This is the front side. So what we are going to do next is to attach the zip to the back side. So after using the facing to turn the neckline, I flamed the facing to the other side and they gave it a good press. So this is my zip. So I use my zipper allowance to attach the zip to the back side. The zip is up to here. I will stitch up this remaining part. I will stitch this part and leave about 10 to 15 inches slit at the back side. I also cut out the ruffles. Remember we'll be adding ruffles to the side. So I measured the lower part here, the side, 
and use it to cut out the raw food. I will come down half inch from the waistline and then measure what I have here. So I will measure the remaining parts. I will be using this for the hemming allowance. I have 41 inches here. I will times the 41 inches by 2. I don't have much fabric, but I've loved to use times 2.5 of this measurement for the ruffles. 41 times 2 is 82 inches, so I'll be cutting out 82 inches for each side. So I have two here. So this is 82 inches. And the length is seven inches so I cut out two of these for both sides I will use half inch to stitch one side before making the gather I will take a quarter of an inch twice stitch this side and use my gather stitch to gather this side I will gather it up to 41 inches remember 41 inches is the measurement so i will still stitch up the edge here and uh, this side so i will repeat the same thing for the other side okay, guys i've finished attaching the zip to the back side i left about 15 inches slits at the back for free movement I've also made the ruffles. So I gather it up to the length of this lower part. You can see I've marked up some lines here. This is the sewing allowance. Normally it's one inch for sewing allowance. Because the fabric is stretchy, I will just mark 1.5 inches for no stretchy fabric is always very stretchy. So I added half inch to it instead of one inch. I'll make it 1.5 inches. You just take it like that, 1.5 inches. 1.5 inches you mark it all the way to the down part so I'll repeat the same thing for this side I'll grab one of the ruffles and use my safety pin to pin the ruffles to the dress I'll make sure right side of the ruffle is facing right side of the dress so remember we have to come down half inch from the waistline so I will pin it So this remaining part is my sewing allowance. I will fold this inside like so. I will do the same thing for this side. I will run a stitch here to keep the gather in place. I will do the same thing for this side. So guys, I finished attaching the ruffles to the dress. So this is the dress. So what we are going to do next is to join the front and the back together. So this is the back side. I will lay them against each other. Right side facing right side. I will stitch them together. And while stitching it, make sure you put up the ruffles inside. So you place it like so. I will still follow the same stitch I made earlier. I will stitch it right from the armpit here, one and a half inches, all the way to the bottom. I do the same thing for the side. So guys, I finished joining the front and the back together. So this is the whole full. This is the lower part. We're almost done with the dress. If you're making this kind of dress, at least you will require three and a half to four yards of fabric because of the ruffles. Next is for us to cut out our sleeves. I wanted to make a full flared sleeve. So because of the fabric I have, I will make use of what I have. To cut out the sleeve, you will measure your round shoulder measurement. The round shoulder measurement is 42 inches. And I will measure here. Check what I have here. I have 12 inches here. The front is 12 inches and the back is 12 inches. 12 plus 12 is 24 inches. We minus 24 inches from 42 inches to cut out the sleeves. 
42 minus 24 is 18 inches. 18 inches is 42 sleeves. I will divide the 18 inches by 2, which is 9 inches. So I will use 9 inches for this side and 9 inches for this side. And let me set this aside. This is the only fabric I have left. I'll be using this for the two sleeves. I wanted a very big flare. I don't have much fabric, so I'll make use of what I have. I will just manage this one. If I folded the fabric into two, I'm using this for the two sleeves. I will just make it like a, a triangle. I want to add elastic to the upper part of the sleeve and the tip of the sleeves. Remember, one sleeve is nine inches. This upper part is supposed to be nine inches and the lower part nine inches. That's the, the sleeve cap. Because I'll be adding elastic to the upper part. I will multiply the 9 inches by 2. So 9 times 2 is 18 inches. So I'll be cutting out 18 inches because I want that place to be a little bit gathered. Had even I have much fabric, I would have cut out more than that. So I will just place my tape like so. I'm just making it simple. And I'm not turn it nice. I will cut it right from this side. I join it together. I don't want this side to show too much. Let me take it again. Yes, so I have 18 inches here. I'll place my tape like so. I have eight, 18 inches here. And this is a 10 and a half inches. I'll mark 10 and a half inches around. I'll measure it to see if it's up to 18 inches. Yeah, it's 18 inches. So right from here, I will take the length of the sleeve. The length of the sleeve is 13 inches. I will add one inch for elastic. That's 14 inches. So I'll mark 14 inches round. I'm still marking 14 inches round. So I will go ahead and cut it out. I'll cut out the bend part. So I will split it open. This is the lower part and this is the upper part. So what I'm going to do is to bring the dress and the cut out the the side here, that's the simplest method to use. This is the dress. I will just take this and place it here. So I join the two together. I will place it here. I will leave one inch space here because I will use it to stitch this place up. I'll cut it nicely. I will go ahead and uh, make one inch space around here for the elastic. I will do the same thing for the upper part here. I will make one inch space here. So guys, this is the elastic case. This is the lower part and this is the upper part. I will measure the round sleeve and use it to cut out the elastic. I have 11 inches here. So I will cut out about uh, 9 or 10 inches elastic. I cut out 9 inches elastic for the lower part and for the upper part, remember one side of the sleeve, this side is 9 inches, so I will cut out about 7 inches elastic, so I will subtract 2 inches from 9 inches, so this is 7 inches. So what I'm going to do is to use my safety pin to insert the elastic inside. I'll pass it through this side and uh, bring it down from the other side. Make sure you secure this other side. So I'll pass it through this side. I'll secure both sides. I'll insert the upper part. I'll secure both sides also. So 
So I will go ahead and then stitch this side up. I will use one inch to stitch up this place from here to where the elastic is. I will stitch this side also, stitch the elastic down and stitch this side down. So well, guys, I finished uh, stitching the elastic. So I will attach this to the armhole. I will match the, the side seam together, right side facing right side. So I will take this, take it to the front part. Take the back one, take it to the back side. I will go ahead and use half inch to stitch it round. I will repeat the same thing for the other side. So guys, we finished attaching the sleeves. This is the finished look of the dress. This is the lower part. I use one inch to hem the lower part. This is the elastic. The upper part. I have 21 inches here. That's the round shoulder measurement. Let me turn it to the back. This is the back side. So this is the back side. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're here for the first time. I will see you in my next one. Love you guys. Bye.